Okay, gentlemen, <clears throat> for those of you that have bought a SKS drum magazine, you if you bought one from centerfiresystems.com, you probably saw the instructional video on how to load your drum magazine when you purchased it. Uh, I don't put videos on the internet to tell people they're wrong. However, that video, everything about it is wrong and dangerous. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this and do this correctly. Um, if Before we get started though, if you are having trouble getting your SKS magazine to go up into the receiver of your gun, make sure you see my other two videos, part one part two of how to custom fit your SKS drum to your gun. Um, I made a comprehensive video to show you how to custom fit it to make your drum fit and make your bullets feed correctly. All right, let's let's get on with this. So, in the SGM, whoever that is, the video that was uh, made to show you how to load the SKS drum, they ask, they tell you to start winding this backwards. And I have to tell you, this is under some extreme pressure this spring. If you let go of this right now with your fingers, it would come around here so fast. Slam that slamming that uh, follower up into place into there so so fast and so violently it bends the arm of the follower That's the damage that gets done if it's not loaded correctly and Part of their video they say you cannot partially load a drum for fear of this happening um, Well, that's just not so you can put as many rounds in this as you choose you do not have to uh, completely load it. However, let's let's say, for example, you did want to uh, actually uh, do a full load. All right, so first of all, I want you to wind it counterclockwise to bring the follower up into the tower so that we're absolutely certain that it fits and everything works. And as long as you're satisfied with that, then depress the center button and then wind this clockwise until it stops. Okay, we're now in the load position. You'll notice the follower is all the way around to here. This little tang here does not have a space for a bullet, if you'll notice. This is the load position for a full drum. All right, plus, let's see, 75 rounds plus, you get uh, one, two, th uh, three more rounds in here. Um, so 78 rounds is actually what you can get in here. All right, now. That's pretty self, uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory. And once you've got that all loaded up, the, what they what they do show you, and I'll actually I'm going to uh, show you the better method now. Okay, the follower is now up in the tower again. And as I told you before, they get you to wind this under pressure, and they also want you to load some of the bullets up into here under the pressure of the tension as well again forget about that we got a whole entirely better system so what I want you to do is with the tower up in there just depress the button and bring the fo uh, the follow around just to anywhere where you can see it we don't care how many bullets you got I don't know what's in there I'm not going to count them I don't care we do not need to do that so what we have to do and this is the most important thing this is what you need to know that follower right there must have bullets in front of it and that's all you need to know without bullets in front of it when you when the last round fires the spring tension that's left on here will whip this thing around so fast again it's going to break the arm on our follower so again bring this back out here anywhere doesn't matter where doesn't matter where and start loading bullets on the outside ring now keep in mind the bullet must be in front of the follower. Again, I'm, I don't want to put anybody's video down. It's just that the information was incorrect. And I don't want to see anybody lose a fingertip. Because if you try and wind that thing under pressure, this spins around, I'm going to guess, at least 100 miles an hour. At least. It will definitely take your fingertip off. There's no question about it. Oh, 
All right, so I'm running out of room here. I got I have more bullets. So here's what we do. Press the depress the button again and rotate it again counterclockwise. That's simple. Continue loading your bullets. But now that you've got them all in, now the trick is your your all your bullets are loaded in place. Now rotate it counterclockwise, give it a good snap. And if you noticed, it ran the bullets all the way up into position, and that's it, we're done. And we have the follower right behind the last bullet, so that as it fires, the follower only has to move one bullet. It's not going to bend. You are good to go. Close it up, and you are done. Now, this magazine can be stored just like this, and I recommend it does be stored like this. It does not need to be under spring tension. So all you have to do now is give it three, three half good three half turns you're under full tension and it's ready to fire you want to put it away depress the center button take the tension off and you're done nobody gets it nobody loses a finger nobody breaks a follower it is the only way to do this It is the correct way to do this and the safe way all right gentlemen I, I, as I said again if you're having having problems with your bullet Riding too far to the left and not loading into your chamber. If your bullet's riding too low, not going into the chamber. Make sure you see my other video. I'll leave a link here for you. And uh, as I said, there's two parts to it. Part one, part two. How to custom fit your SKS drum. Hope this has been of some help to you. Enjoy.